Hey, welcome back Design Squad and in this Design Tool Tuesday video we're going to talk about design system. And as you know before we jump in this Design Tool Tuesday is all about the cool tools, cool web apps, everything what I would recommend to juniors, my peers or anyone into like let's say product design. And today again we're going to discuss the design systems repo and you can find the tool at designsystemsrepo.com. This is totally free tool. It's kind of like, again, one of those web apps, which you should just bookmark and have it whenever you need something to do with design systems, because it's really awesome. It offers articles, the actual list of the tools and plugins for your existing apps, for example, books, everything to do with design systems and how to get started and the best examples and all of that. But right off the bat, you know, when you land on this service, you're going to see that it's divided into design systems as I said articles tools books talks about so forth and then you can also contribute to it if you have a resource or a design system to share right off the bat if we go to the design systems as you can see there is a gallery of A to Z or most recent design systems which basically are public or something you can preview immediately and I have a video coming up of 10 design systems you must know about because of their maturity and how scaled they are and how impactful they are you know it's something what every designer aspires to do is those design systems so that's coming up stay tuned for that but meanwhile you can always explore all these design systems and actually see how other companies and you know using let's say atomic design systems to scale those systems and so let's pick one of them I'm, I'm not sure which one for example I covered already the gov.uk design system which is no-brainer so check that out but let's pick something which for example you might not know about so react 95 which is i guess windows 95 lookalike which is pretty damn cool design system and as you can see there are all these components they're actually functional which designer or engineer would take and reuse in their let's say code bases in their solutions as you can see this is demonstrating one of the bits but again this is quite sparsely defined component library i guess it doesn't have any documentation to it or how you let's say would get started so it's pure examples of windows 95 design system i guess not a great example let's find a better one for example luna from sainsbury's and sainsbury's is e-commerce grocery online and retail shopping experiences and as you can see we have luna design system where they defined quite a few different components if you have shopped online on sainsbury's you exactly know what i mean it's really clean and they define guidelines, they have styles, as you can see colors, typography, and a respectful page, which actually covers all of that. And let's say if you're a new designer, it's a no brainer. Why design systems are awesome is because you can get onboarded, you know exactly where to start for building blocks, so you can assemble new bits, new molecules, new organisms, new templates and pages going forth. Do you have access of all these design systems like for example IBM's Carbon is another big name and you can actually learn from it because you know the best way to learn is to have a good example and these are all great examples of design systems across the board one day I'm gonna add my design system there so wait for that but meanwhile let's jump into the next section which is articles some people for example myself I'm self-starter self-learner so I consume a lot of books a lot of articles a lot of videos so I combine all those notes together and make new ideas happen if you refer back to my video producing new innovative ideas you're gonna know exactly what i mean but it's how the innovation happens or how you learn is that you answer small specific problems with bits and then you store that information those methods for future use and so if you follow that principle you can learn a lot about different design systems for example how someone like gusto here they started and how they made that design system and what we learn from it and so there's a collection of articles here again all of it submitted from third party so this is like an indexing source you know this is like a go-to landing page per se where you're gonna find all those assets and you can explore i think books is obvious i'm not gonna even go there there are plenty of books you can just go and you're gonna find like five ten books which are you know everybody knows about and they're always gonna appear on the list on amazon let's say so just buy any and all of them and read about it if you are into reading but tools and resources is something what people actually struggle with or they 
like to get new tools or really like to know new methods to stay relevant in the design industry. That's why I actually start the Design Tool Tuesday. There are plenty of plugins and tools here. So for example, the Liz Zeppelin, Symbols Manager for Sketch, Text style manager for sketch like plugins. Some of them are actually just sketch libraries of design systems like let's say nested symbols and style guides provides you like a framework which you can edit. And so you can find everything and anything you wish for your design systems if you're just getting started or you want to improve it or you want to maintain it. And so this is in a nutshell what this tool or this app is about. It contains all these different bits. So go explore, you know, spend like your lunchtime or afternoon just covering it up so you know exactly what you can expect. And I um, can guarantee that one of these tools is something which would benefit even if you're not into design systems, even if you're not, you know, directly crafting a design system or working with engineers to streamline that process, you're still going to find something which is going to benefit your workload. Like for example, this styles manager, which, you know, it in a design systems framework, it allows you to manage the styles or manage the symbols accordingly. And so I hope it's useful. As per usual, give a like, subscribe to his channel, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and I'll see you next time.